one of the things I've been saying to healthcare leaders for a while now is we've never been really good at architecture. And the reason I say that is, you know, whenever you go into an organization and they have 1500 applications or 2,500 applications, you're like, there's no way that was architected that way. But when the architectural review board looks at things, first of all, what's the makeup of that group? Is it just technology or are you looking, obviously it's technology security, but is it other aspects of the business as well? We recognize that in order to have a cohesive architecture, it needs to be a full picture of what's actually going on at your organization. So while IT leads, we do engage the business in those conversations. And that's part of the reason why it is a tall task, Bill, because by the time you actually realize you need something like that, you not only have a huge application portfolio, but it's, it has a ton of history there. There's a fair amount of technical debt that we're trying to tackle while new technologies are coming in at the same time. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the pure volume of the type of work that group needs to do. That being said, we continue to chip away at it. We've also had a pretty aggressive M&A roadmap over the last few years as well that has added to the need to really rationalize those applications and get them into a pipeline of decommissioning and, event and archiving and, and eventually removing them from our environment. So as many organizations are facing cost pressures, we want to be more efficient. This is definitely an area we're continuing to double down on. When I came into St. Joe's, I looked at the just the imaging platform. I was like, how did we end up with so many different imaging platforms? It was, they made a decision, they made a decision, they made a decision, and we did not have an architectural review board. And so it was like, they just looked at it and said, it integrates with the EHR and it works. So we, yeah. we just kept going. Once it's in, it's very difficult conversations and it's a lot harder. You want to change it from an environment that just evolves as to one that's intentionally being built in a way that actually gains those synergies and really optimizes the resources that you have. I completely agree. I think IT has evolved over the last 20 years. Now we need to change the dynamic to making it a more directed process.